Yo, what is up? Right now, I'm going to explain to you what 24 hours in a different country, being a person who stutters, what that's like, what, what I've been through and kind of like what the challenges were and what my life is like now, 24 hours in. Okay, so if you don't know who I am first, quickly, my name is Chase Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering the, the authentic way not through speech techniques and devices and things you put in your ear and little tricks and gimmicks, but by addressing the real root issue and dealing with that. All right, so when I explain this to you in this video, what I've kind of been through, you will understand the real root issue and you'll get a real good, a real good grasp of what you're working with if you're a person who stutters. Okay, so let's start. My day so far 24 hours so i got here yesterday around 10 a.m it's past 24 hours it's about four four no it's 5 p.m right now so it's like 30 hours but i'm going to tell you everything that happened in 24 hours for when i got here okay so let me paint the picture 10 a.m i walked out i was leaving the airport the airport was hard for me I think the airport is hard for everybody. You will stutter more, you're under more pressure. <laughs> Even when you're not lying, it feels like you gotta make something up. And that used to really, really hurt me. Being at the airports used to really crush me. It used to make me feel like I'm a piece of, like this little turd. It made me feel so small. It made me feel like, ah, oh, these giants, they have so much control over me. But now I, I still stuttered. I, I wouldn't stutter like I used to, but I still stuttered more than a day-to-day -day interaction, right? But each time I did, I was proud of myself. Each time I did, I said, I could have changed out the word. I could have said something different. I, I could have sculpted it in a way that I didn't have to say that. Well, that's what I wanted to say, all right? So it started, started in the airport. My speech got a little bit worse. Now, something for you to know is your speech will always get a bit worse when you're in new environments that make you feel unsafe. And I don't mean unsafe physically, like in danger. I mean unsafe mentally and emotionally. When you're in environments where you feel like it is not safe to stutter, where you feel like the judgment is higher if you stutter, where you feel if you will stutter in this environment, everyone will know you as the person who stutters and they'll all judge you and they'll all mock you. If you feel it's unsafe in that area, not only will you stutter more, but you will also build a different personality that isn't true to you. Because if you feel unsafe, what do you do? You put up a wall. And now you're living in a version of yourself that is not true to you, but you feel it's the safest thing to do because they can't hurt you. They can only hurt this version of you you put up. So you meet new people in this front. And this is what I used to always do at new jobs, in new classes at university, you name it. And even when I used to travel before, but not this time. Not this time. The, the wall, I felt it like a little bit of pressure. I want to come up. I want to come up, but I was conscious and I made the conscious effort not to bring that shit up. My stutter, because of that, like the past me would have used filler words and exchanged and all that type of shit, right? Now I would stutter a bit more than before, but I was being my true self. And what happens when you're your true self, even when you feel that judgment? Even when you feel like, oh, I shouldn't be my true self right now. What happens? You prove to your brain that it's safe. That is how you prove to your brain. That's how you prove to your emotions that it's a safe place to be authentic. Not by avoiding stuttering, not by substituting words, not by putting up a front, but by stuttering, staying open and staying authentic. So that's what the last 24 hours have been doing. And the results of that is I went to the gym. Now in Colombia, I thought there was a lot more English speakers than there is. 
there's not, um, I'd say maybe 5% of the people I meet, maybe less than that, actually do speak English. Um, I met someone at the gym that spoke English and now we're gym buddies and now we're gonna go to the gym. I don't think every day because, on, because honestly, I'm not a big fan of gym, of gym buddies. I like going in, getting my shit done, not waiting for him to finish his set, but it's a great way to meet people. And now he will have a whole social network here because he's been living here for 18 years. I will meet so many new people through him, so many new experiences, so many ways for me to feel safe in expressing myself because I'm gonna stay open around him always. And then a few hours after that, I went to see this house. Not this house I'm staying at right now, this Airbnb only lasts 22 days. So I went to explore a different place and I met, I met the host and I had a, probably about an hour to an hour, an hour, an hour and a half one-on-one -on -one talk with the host. We can, we can, we connected and he invited me to his birthday party now four days from now on Friday. It's Monday today. So I, it gives you five days or four, four days, depending on how you're looking at it, but fuck it, it doesn't matter. The point of the story is at this birthday party, there's going to be 20 plus people here and it's a whole night of meeting new people. It's a whole night of seeing people from here, other, other, ex, other expats and just having a fucking experience with, the, with everybody here because I stayed open because my speech was a bit worse than usual and I still fucking stayed open. I didn't buckle down, I didn't hide. Now I have a gym buddy and now I'm going to a party where I'm, I have the opportunity to meet so many new people and the new people I meet have so many new people. Building a social circle, like you're gonna see these updates because I'm gonna stay in Colombia for three to six months. You're gonna see updates with the social circles I built but I don't want you to wait till that time to be like, okay, Chase is right. I do need to do that. No, this is the shit. This is the shit. And you know it's the shit. You know, if you felt like I could stutter now and be completely fine, and you had that inner feeling, you know you'd be completely fine to speak freely. But you have not dealt with that yet. Or maybe you have. But if you're still getting anxiety and embarrassment and shame every time you stutter, then you still have work to do. The best thing I've ever did in, in my life is working on my emotions, is working on why I'm viewing my stutter in a negative light and using that to actually build connections. Using my stutter as a fast track way to be vulnerable and to build connections with people at a level that wouldn't have been possible if I did not have a stutter. But I had to change the relationship in my mind first. Okay, and that's within the 24 hours since I got here. Um, that was probably all within eight, eight hours actually. And uh, a little, a few hours ago, I went, I went to the gym, not with the gym buddy, we're going tomorrow. I went to the gym just by myself and I saw this cute girl she looked like she could be American or Canadian, and I just went. I just went up to her. Of course, I had doubts in my main, in my main, in my mind, saying don't do it. But I, we, we don't listen to that shit. And I went up and spoke to her, and I was like, "You look like you speak English." And she's like, "Yes, I do." And I, she had the thickest Colombian accent, so I was like, "Oh, but you're you're not like Canadian." She's like, "No, I live here." And we had a conversation and now I know her. And now I'm, every time I see her at the gym, I have that person to talk to. And now that there's that person to talk to, other people will see me talking to her. And just it's when you have that dynamic that you're a friendly person in the gym, people want to talk to you and they're going to be more open or, uh, around you. And I still stuttered with her. But the, con the connection we made in such a short, short time is fucking incredible because of the relationship with my speech now, okay? So I don't wanna make this sound like it's a magic pill. It's not. This took me years to get to where I am now, but you don't have to go through years. 
It took me years because I was trying to figure this show on my own because I knew the speech therapy way was bullshit. And I still think that. I still think you don't need a speech technique. I still think you don't need an ear device. I still think you don't need to read out loud. That's bullshit. We need to feel safe in environments where we feel stress, where we feel anxiety. We need to feel safe to stutter. And when we do, nothing is holding us back. And that's when the most confident version of ourselves comes out. And the last thing I want to end on is, yeah, it took me 24 hours now from when I landed to 24 hours to now when I talk to people, it's basically, it may be a little bit worse. So it's basically the same way I would talk to people speech wise, stutter wise back in BC, even uh, BC, Canada, even sometimes would be worse than how I'm speaking right now. But yeah, say it takes 24 hours. The last time I went to a different country, it took me like four days. And now it takes 24 hours because there's just a system to, to, break, to break that feeling of being unsafe, to prove to your brain there's just a system you go through. And each time I travel, each time I meet someone new, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. Where if I move a whole city, it takes 24 hours. But if I meet a new person, it may take four minutes or may, it may take two minutes, or usually 95% of the time I meet a new person and it's a split second. It's like, I feel comfortable with you because of just this inner feeling. But such a big change like a city, yeah, it took, 20, it took 24 hours, but each time you do it, you, do, you put the work in, it goes from 24 hours to 12 hours, 12 hours to six hours, six hours to four hours, and all the way down to you can just enter a new country a new environment and that's just the new you all right so it's fucking exciting i'm so excited for my adventures here in col in colombia and if you want to become my client right now there's nothing there's no better time because you get to hear the insights of what i'm going through what i'm learning every single day every single day you will be able to learn this and you get to go through the process with me the proven process that i've overcome my stutter with and everyone else every one of my clients has gone through too no speech techniques but addressing the real root issues of why we're feeling unsafe to express ourselves authentically okay so that's my little update 24 hours in if you're interested in becoming my client or possibly becoming my client because i do only accept a small percentage of people look at the closest link down below book your free consultation fill out a couple details about yourself and i'll be speaking to you soon much love and uh, take care